Welcome to Reading English Aloud. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you an idiom and a new type of verb. How to push the boat out. What does it mean to push the boat out? And what does it mean to splurge on something? So what does it mean to push the boat out? This means you're going to spend a lot of money on uh, celebrating something. So if you decide to push the boat out, it means you're celebrating something and you're not going to be you're not going to be shy about spending a lot of money. And splurge means the same thing. You're going to spend a lot of money on buying goods, especially expensive goods. So I'm my husband and I decided to splurge on dinner last night and we certainly did push the boat out. We don't normally eat out, so this is a big splurge for us. We're, we live in a small village, so we don't have many restaurants. So we went to the town, the next town over to this small, very simple Italian restaurant. It's a very typical small town Italian restaurant in Canada, and we decided to splurge. I love cooking. So I like cooking at home, but it's sometimes it's nice to take a break from cooking. So what did we order? I, oh, see, it was a fun restaurant because uh, the owner gave me a rose. The restaurant has, it's not the fanciest place, but it does have a lot of charm. And these are the type of restaurants that we like. So I ordered, uh, I like tomato sauce based pasta dishes. I ordered ravioli and my husband loves cream based pasta dish dishes. So he's really splurging on calories tonight because that's a big portion and that's a lot of cream. So this is ravioli. Um, it's filled with I can't remember what was filled, probably with cheese and a little bit of meat inside, but the tomato sauce was delicious. And this is a spaghetti carbonara and it has ham and cream. His was very peppery. I liked the peppery flavor of it. So what did our, our night of pushing the boat out cost us? So I had ravioli with tomato sauce and that was $14.95 which is an average price here. I, my husband had spaghetti carbonara, $17.95. Um, we also splurged on dessert. We really pushed the boat out because we had a glass of wine each and dessert, but we usually split a dessert. So we really splurged on calories and splurged on, on money for, the, for celebrating we're just celebrating. We we're just very happy. So we decided to push the boat out and go out for dinner. So we also had tiramisu, which was $7.95. And the total for our food came to $40.85. And we live in Canada and we live in British Columbia. So of course, tax on food was $2.04. I put the wine separate two glasses of wine, $14. Uh, if you don't know what to order, if you want wine, wine is goes really well with pasta. So you can just order house red or house white. It's usually an okay glass of wine. We just had a glass each because we were driving. So $14 plus, we live in British Columbia and Canada. The, we had tax on wine. The tax on wine was $2.10. So our total was $58.99. Uh, we paid with our credit card and there are tipping options on your credit card. You can tip maybe 10%, 15%, 18%, 20% and you just press one button and it's not at all painful giving a tip that way. So we tipped 15% and that was $8.85. But I just realized while making this video that you're tipping on the tax as well. So here's a tip when tipping. It might be better to leave cash on the table because if you're using your card, you can opt for no tip 
and just leave cash on the table. So after looking at this receipt, I will now only leave cash on the table. Press no tip when you're using your card, but just leave cash on the table because again, they're adding up, they're adding the tax and you're doing 15% on the tax. So, um, and more money will go to the server. So 15% uh, 885. So our big splurge came to $67.84. So if you look at that, our food, our actual bill was $54.85, but with taxes and tipping 67.84. So it really was a big splurge, but it's fun to push the boat out every now and uh, every now and again. Let's look at some Italian dishes you would find in a very typical Canadian Italian restaurant. Um, this one is called pizza. This one's very, very popular. I prefer to have pizza in an Italian restaurant. I don't really like the fast food pizza places. The pizza quality is not very good. So pizza is a very popular Italian dish. Um, these two things, these are the same, but different types. What would we call this? This is called pasta. We don't say noodles, we say pasta. So you can have um, like a spaghetti type noodle. I think this is a little bit thicker than spaghetti and a little bit flatter than actual spaghettis. Spaghetti, there are so many different types of pasta noodles. This one is... Uh, uh, a tube, um, so many different types. So you can even go buy sauces. You can go buy a cream sauce or you can have a tomato based sauce. So you can call them, you would say, would you like to have pasta tonight? Let's go to an Italian restaurant. I really feel like having pasta tonight. And we also have uh, this one. This one's very popular. I cook this at home all the time. It's a nice, it's an easy dish to cook and it lasts for many days or you can freeze it. So this one is called lasagna. And if you're going to have dinner out, I need to correct something. My husband and I, we eat, we go to coffee shops and we eat breakfast out, but we rarely eat dinner out now. So when we want to push the boat out, then we will splurge for dinner. Dinner is usually a splurge because we don't normally eat dinner out. We just don't have restaurants in our village. So lasagna, this is a very, it's a very simple dish to make. And if we really want to push the boat out, uh, we will have dessert. Um, and this is a very famous Italian dessert. And it is tiramisu. And it is so different from restaurant to restaurant. Our tiramisu last night was was delicious. It didn't have the um, cocoa powder on the top. It had more of a, um, I'm not even sure what to call it. It didn't seem, the cocoa powder sometimes is a bit too dry for me and I feel like I choke a little bit on it, but um, it was still really, really delicious. It wasn't quite as uh, heavy with cocoa powder. So I like that. Very simple. Uh, Italian food. I love Italian food. I love Italian food in these very, very, very simple Italian restaurants that you find because it's really delicious food, um, nothing fancy. And it's usually a very pleasant experience eating in an Italian Canadian restaurant. Thank you for reading English aloud with me and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.